When we talk about propulsion systems and equipment, most of us are aware that conventional propulsion, which is the main engine attached to the shaft arrangement, driving the propeller at the stern end of the ship. It also comprises the rudder, which works with propeller and helps the ship to turn and go on a predetermined course. However, there is another system which eliminates the use of rudder and long shaft transmission. These are pod propulsion systems. This propulsion type is a combination of steering and propeller system. The pod propulsion unit is fitted in the place of the conventional propeller and it comprises an electric motor mounted inside the pod. And the propeller is directly connected to the motor shaft. It is usually located just before the end of the ship in the astern, that is below the ship. There are mainly two manufacturers of the pod propulsion system. ABB is the biggest producer and has two types of pod types. Azipod 5 to 30 megawatt and compact 0 0.4 to 5 megawatt. Rolls-Royce is the second biggest company on the market producing a pod called Mermaid. Installations of pods of ever increasing power were initially adopted for icebreakers, merchant vessels operating in icebound areas and navy ships. The breakthrough in the cruise industry initiated with Carnival's first installation on the Elation in 1998 rapidly increasing from 6 MW to 25 MW per unit. The pot propulsion unit comprises of shaft housing cover and end plate. The exposed part of the shaft between the top support plate and the top section of the pot strut must be protected by means of a streamlined fairing, described as shaft housing. A thin end plate is fitted horizontally to the bottom of the streamlined body. Driving shaft the driving shaft is the connecting link between the propeller pod and propeller shaft and the driving assembly which can be an electric motor or engine. Pod housing. The pod housing consists of bevel gear arrangement and propeller shaft. The driving shaft transmits the force to the propeller shaft and turns the propeller. In some arrangement in pods of bigger size, synchronous motors for propulsion is used which is housed inside the pods. The electrical supply is provided to the motor, which drives the propeller shaft. A dynamometer is also fitted in the pod housing close to the propeller blade assembly to measure the thrust torque of the propeller. Bottom fin. A bottom fin is also provided in most of the modern pod propeller to make the design more aerodynamic. The pod propeller assembly can rotate 360 degrees at its place, making it easier for ships to have an ahead and astern control without needing for reversing the prime mover, here the motor, or using a controllable pitch propeller. To accommodate the rotation of pod propeller, slip rings are used to supply the power from the motor to the pod unit. Power is fed through a variable frequency drive or cycloconverter that allows speed and direction control of the propulsion motors. Following are the advantages of pod propulsion. Up to 20% more energy efficiency with reduced fuel consumption and life cycle costs. Saving time and money during construction. Environment friendly propulsion system, lower fuel consumption, reduces emissions. Excellent maneuverability. Safe and maneuverable, even the largest vessels can be maneuvered with decimeter accuracy. Narrow harbors can be entered quickly and safely. 